also Caitlyn Jenner shared a tweet showing her support for Donald Trump and Elon Musk. Her tweet says, hope is back in America. These two men will single-handedly save Western civilization that starts with a strong United States of America. I am here at your service and forever indebted to your sacrifice for this country. Let's make America great again. So, of course, social media criticized her for supporting Trump as a trans person. And mm -hmm. um, Trump has been open about having policies against trans uh, community. And a recent headline that I just saw, President-elect Donald Trump shared shares plan to stop the chemical, physical, and emotional mutilation of our youth, speaks about ending gender-affirming care and programs that promote gender transitions. Um, this is something I definitely do agree with because it's just like, I just don't feel that it should be allowed to have your children make a permanent decision so early before they finish developing. So I actually did um, agree with that. And then following the criticism, mm -hmm. uh, Caitlyn Jenner tweeted, I am not a trans advocate. I wouldn't wish it upon anyone, but I am a trans person. Now y'all gotta understand that because that's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure. And, and what you when, when you, being a trans advocate, I know that's a lot of pressure because even just being a black woman trying to like, represent all black women is a mm -hmm. challenge. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because all black women don't think the same. All trans probably don't think the same. I, well, I know they don't think the same, you mm -hmm. know? But I, how do you say like, yo, I don't want to represent all of y'all because then that's how you end up being the most hated person because you can't make every, I'm pretty sure she can't make every trans person happy. Of course yeah, not. I think with yeah, him, like, he, he don't, have, well, she, she don't have, mm -hmm. Well, Caitlyn, Caitlyn, Caitlyn don't have to be a trans advocate, but yeah. uh, I guess the same weekend that you see Donald Trump put out that uh, he wants to make it a federal law where it's only two genders, mm -hmm. it looks, you, look, you look crazy as a trans person but showing that's your always, support for him. That's always been Caitlyn's stance, though. That that's why a lot of the trans dislike her because like that's always been her stance. You know, she's never ever tried to say that she was right. a, a trans advocate. You know what I mean? But you got to stop playing hokey pokey with our gender identity. Hey, yeah. Okay, you can't have one foot in, one foot out, and then hey, like, yo. shake it all about <laughs> hokey pokey. <laughs> That's what it is. Hokey you playing hokey pokey with our gender She's identity. swinging the. That's what hey, it yeah. is. All one right. foot in, one foot out. Okay. And then you shake it all about. What you shaking? Huh? <laughs> what you swinging? <laughs> <What you shaking? laughs> Y'all crazy. <laughs> Jelly Roll invites inmates on stage. Uh, he had a show in Virginia back in October, but the show uh, had a video that went viral over the weekend. And there was a moment during the show when Jelly Roll asked some special guests to join him on stage, and they performed their own version of Jelly Roll's song, Unpretty. We got the audio. A local head. county jail that has a program that is teaching people how to recover the right way and through therapy and through music, through redemption and giving them real second chances. I left there and I couldn't quit thinking about it. And I called that local sheriff and I said, I know this sounds crazy, but I never got a chance to see if the dream could be real. Would you please bring those inmates to this show tonight so they could see the dream? And you would please give these, these young men a second, just show them that it can happen because it happened for me and I was in this same kind of place. I That's dope. That is really, really dope. And it actually did not sound bad. Like we got the audio of them actually singing the song. Ah! Put my faith in a higher purpose Hoping one day when you see me You see God serving Perfect Is he who told me I was really worth it Working for a future I know I deserve When I feel like I can't sleep Or feel like I can't see I call up who made me Save me Into a man I could be proud of We do recover So tell them people don't doubt us So, so they let the inmates out to perform? Uh, yes, they did. He, wow. had, he yep, yep, because wow. he does the work with the jails, and we know his background. He's been to multiple jails, including uh, yep. Tennessee and uh, and Kentucky. You know, and then he started off as a rapper. This is a additional information I did not even know. He started off as a rapper and was known for working with Three Six Mafia. Mm -hmm. I know that's right, Jelly Roll. Mm -hmm. yeah. Guys, that's really really dope. Y'all knew that, but I didn't know that. Yeah, that's so. gonna be fire when he goes to the city with Tory Lanez locked up. Hey, yo. Uh, when he goes to the city with R. Kelly locked up. I don't know if it's a Tory. <laughs> I don't think, yeah, think he's going every city. That he did. Yeah. On that shit. He just felt something from from that. Yeah, you're not torn jail. with the inmates. Oh, I didn't know. He's not going city to city. Oh. A jail tour. Yo, it's crazy. But nah, um, I actually thought that was really dope. Mm -hmm. uh, they were saying that the person that was singing, they was in the comments like, uh-uh, he, he sound nervous. He probably was nervous. But my thing is, you wasn't nervous to commit them crimes. You gonna get up in front of a bunch of people and be nervous, but he ended up bringing it together at the end. He also had another person playing instruments. Like th those are those were a group of talented inmates. Yep. Really, really dope. I probably so was I'm thinking glad. about how can I escape? 
You know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> nah, yeah. they wasn't thinking that. I'm sure there was so many sheriffs and police focus. officers there. I'm just saying, it's hard Stay to focus there. on singing when I'm like, damn, can I make a quick noise? <laughs> yeah, that's, right. that's probably no. what I was thinking. If I go straight, I, can I make it to the front door? Yeah, Y'all dumb. There was too no. many security there. Speaking of inmates, Young Thug tweets, Gunna, all right? Young Thug shared a tweet over the weekend that went viral and said, Gunna, stop acting like we friends on the internet. I do not know you, my guy. And so fans reacted to this tweet where, you know, he seemingly shaded Gunna, obviously. Um, and it was surprising because Thug specifically asked to speak to Gunna, like, right, mm-hmm. you know, right before his release. You know, he he kept on requesting that. And the fans believe that they may be a problem between Thug and Gunna after Gunna's brother jumped on and said this. Trust and believe the feeling is mutual. Uh, Thug ended up deleting his tweet and I feel like he did that because like yo you just got out They're, they, you are under a microscope they looking at you mm-hmm. anything happened they're gonna be looking at you again so or I'm, is it a publicity stunt it to, could to be drop a new we, music cause Gunna still signed a Thug mm-hmm. You know, that, that, that's it, a, that, that would be a terrible publicity stunt it, because it that, puts, that puts Gunna in so much danger. Like, like why would you, no, no. Yeah. People are already looking at Gunna a certain say, way. He was in danger before. Yeah, like, that, that, no, that, that wouldn't make any sense to me. Like, yeah. To do that as a publicity stunt. Because he did, like like Jess said, he did ask for, you know, to be able to talk to Gunna and I think his brother mm-hmm. were the two people that he wanted yep. to be able to. The only two people. In communication. Are we with. sure that was a real tweet? Yeah, we, we are. Mm. We are sure. Mm-hmm. And um, it was from Young Thug's account, but it, it was deleted. So. He ain't get on there and say he was hacked. So this just it must be real. Right. Well, we'll keep you updated. That's just for the mess for the hey. first hour. Thank you, GS. Mm-hmm. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.